video I am back and I am going to be doing a what is in my bag for autumn 2017. Now I recently, when I say recently I mean back in August, got a new handbag that I'm super excited about and I've wanted to film this for a while but I was like you know what I'll hold up until I do my autumn videos because these always seem to fit with autumn, I don't know why. But I got a bag and I always get requested on what is in it, like just like my what's in my school bags that always do really well so I thought I would do a what is in my normal bag as you guys seem to love it but yeah that is basically all I have to say I hope you guys are enjoying my autumn videos if you are remember to give it a huge thumbs up make sure to check out all of my others and yeah I really hope you enjoyed the video and let's get started so this is my bag it's actually really small and really cute this is basically a Michael Kors mini backpack now I don't actually think this is the smallest one they do surprisingly I'm pretty sure they actually do one smaller than this because there was one that wouldn't fit my person and I was like okay well I can't get that then but this is like the second to smallest I think and it's in a grey colour I was going to get black but then I was like everybody gets black bags normally so I was like you know what I'll get a grey one it probably won't go with as much but I thought it'd be different so I got a grey one and then it's got silver detailing so it's got these studs here it's got four rows of studs and I love this detailing so much I think it would look nice without the studs but I love it with them and it just says Michael Kors here it's got a front compartment it's got a back compartment and then obviously this is a backpack so it's got the straps which are quite long actually the only thing I'm not really keen on about this is it's quite reflective I want it to be completely matte and it is but in like light and stuff it just looks very very reflective this is my favorite bag ever I think it was 149 pounds from the Bista Village outlet store so it's probably meant to be a bit more expensive but I always go to Bista Village if I'm going to buy designer stuff so yeah I love this so much it was 149 pounds but genuinely like one of the best £150 I've ever spent. It's so comfy, it's so like, I don't know, the bags are so strong, you can just tell it's not going to break. Touch wood. And yeah, I just love this so much. So, without further ado, let's get on to what's actually inside the bag. So all the detailing is actually silver, which I really like as well, which is nice. And then to go with it, I actually had this for longer and I've just realised it's dirty. So I got this last December when I was with Saf and we were shopping, but to go with it, I actually have a Michael Kors purse. So the only annoying thing is this is a kind of a nudie peach colour with gold detailing. Then obviously my bag is grey with silver detailing, but I got the purse first, so I didn't like buy them to match. And I also got this in the sale. I bought this in Milton Keynes and I got got it for £60 and I think it's meant to be like 120 so I got that for a lot cheaper. This is basically just a very long like a nudie coloured pink purse, it just says Michael Kors, gold detailing and then when you open it I'm scared this is going to be messy, okay it's not actually too bad but basically just got all my stuff in here. So I have got a uh, gift card voucher for some driving lessons except they're not like proper driving lessons they're just like the ones where you can go learn to drive at 16 got a Debenhams gift card which I should probably use, I've got my driving licence or my provisional licence because I can start to drive literally, my birthday's on Friday the 13th so I think in a few days after this video goes up. Got my Nando's card which is obviously the most important thing in my purse because everybody needs a Nando's card. I've got my Sephora beauty card, super drug card, then I've basically just got a load of like train tickets and receipts and stuff because I started to keep all my receipts but yeah this is a really nice purse it used to be a lot more cluttered I actually did organize it a few weeks ago so it's not as bad but yeah I love this so much and it goes really nicely with my bag and then obviously I have to keep my phone in my bag I actually forgot that I normally keep this in my bag so I wasn't even going to show this but I just have the iPhone 7 plus isn't it weird though that when a new iPhone comes out your phone starts to break and I'm just like because it's starting to be really slow it's like not updated and stuff and I'm just like yeah that's weird hmm haven't even had it for a year but um yeah also this background is so funny it says I don't need the internet the internet needs me I'm actually gonna change it but I just found it and it made me laugh so yeah I have this and then my phone case is from Moschino or Moschino however you like to say it and it's just got the little bear one it says this is not a Moschino toy and I love this phone case so much so yeah I have that and my phone is actually rose gold but I've only got the case on to protect it because I actually like it with that case better. 
but it, I don't want to drop it and smash it and break it even more than it's already breaking. Then moving on into my bag, I have my vlog camera. So this is just the Canon G7X Mark II that I actually managed to smash. Well done me. I never smash any of my stuff and then somehow I managed to smash this and I have this in my bag because I actually daily vlog if you guys didn't know. So link to my daily vlogs will be down below. But yeah, this camera is so good. It's also really good for taking photos. The only thing is it's quite like, not a fisheye lens, but it's quite a wide angled lens so you have to be careful with that but it's really nice and then I have this cute little mirror which is from Primark so I picked this up for a pound and I just always needed a mirror oh you know when it reflects that's pretty I always need a mirror in my bag and I'm always trying to like look in the iPhone camera and it just doesn't do justice so I was like you know what I'll just get a mirror and this is only a pound and it's pink with palm tree leaves on it I thought that was so good for a pound because if you went anywhere else for a mirror or like one with like this nice of a pattern on it you probably pay like five or six pound in this day and age so Primark for a pound I'd 100% recommend them then I have a mini perfume and this is actually from Primark as well I picked this up quite a few weeks ago actually and it should it was literally two pounds it's just a mini bottle and it says good vibes only then it's got like a marble background with a gold lid and it smells so good i love this like it's not like proper long lasting because like it was only two pounds but it smells really nice if you just need like a quick top up plus it's mini and considering my bag is quite small i just needed a little kind of tiny thing to put in there and this smells really nice so i'd 100 recommend primark perfumes then i have a bath and body works hand sanitizer so i've got my pocket back in right raspberry vine and i actually forgot this was in here because it always just goes to the bottom of my bag but so that's very fresh. I actually have a new one which I got in my Bath and Body Works haul, like a more autumny one. I think it was like Unicorn Tears. So I am going to swap them over. But yeah, I just keep this in my bag, you know, like if I go into like public toilets so or I just get stuff on my hands. It's very handy to carry a hand sanitizer around with you. Then I have something else from Bath and Body Works. This is the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Body Lotion. I know, and I always keep body lotion in my bag because you never know when somebody's going to need like cream. Like it's, you think you're not going to need it, but when you don't have it, somebody's like, do you have any hand cream would you have any body cream and I'm just like you know what I do this was three or four pounds from eBay actually yeah it really wasn't that expensive but it smells so good it's like oh my god it's so autumny and it's just in like a really small bottle as you can see compared to my head so it's really easy to fit in my bag and it'll be yeah you'd be surprised how many people need body lotion because obviously you can use this as hand cream as well but so good then I have another thing from Bath and Body Works and I promise you this is the last thing from there and this is one of the new hand creams this is in the flavour or scent pumpkin cupcake and it just says pumpkin butter and oh my god it smells so good this is the most autumny thing I've ever smelled it's quite sickly which is only like the only annoying thing when you put it on your hands and you smell it you're like whoa you're a bit taken back but it's really nice I love the packaging as well it's like gold and pink and white and it's basically just me all over basically I love this so much and this was four pounds or five pounds from eBay so quite expensive for a hand cream but it's Bath and Body Works so I gave in that is everything in the main compartment of my bag and then you also have a little compartment here and then another compartment on the other side and on the other side I keep my house key so I actually got this for my birthday last year because I just didn't have a house key so my mum got me one cut and it's got like this kind of bluey star pattern on it and then it's on my Zoella little keyring and this says inspire this was from her home collection I think last year yeah last year and I love this so much it's just got the little Z on it and I literally only have one key so this is basically what it looks like but I just keep this in the pocket of my bag but if I'm ever like needed to come home and my mum's not home moving on into the front of my bag I don't know really what I keep in here so I have a ton of receipts which is fun oh my god okay um that's kind of concerning I have my bank card um just flying around in the bottom then put that in my purse i've basically just got a ton of receipts where did i go i went to frankie and benny's i went to frankie and benny's that's the same day i went to the post office to post some parcels so that's fun who doesn't love like looking back at all the money they've spent and then i also oh great i have another receipt from b&m then i have a little portable charger so this is from Ciate london they actually sent me it and it's like literally my favorite thing ever so you meant to put the lead in there and then just says Ciate. it's got like white stars and then it's just this rose gold glittery one it's super lightweight and i think it charges your phone 
twice which is really good it's fully charged at the moment so yeah i love this so much thank you so much Ciate london for sending me this because it has come in great handy and then i also have a top up of my lipstick so i don't actually have this on today but i always keep this in my bag it's just like my go-to color and this is my mac retro matte liquid lip color in the shade burnt spice actually looks like the one I'm wearing today. I've got Too Faced Melted in Child Star on today, but this is just a backup. I actually prefer these to MAC lipsticks. These are so much better because I prefer matte liquid lipsticks. Like once you try liquid lipsticks, it's so hard to go back. So I always keep this in my bag as just kind of like a backup, but it's like the perfect autumn shade. So that stays in my front pocket. And yeah, that is basically everything in my bag. My bag is now completely emptied out. It feels a lot more lightweight now, but yeah, I love it so much. Like it's really deceiving because it's quite small but it can actually fit so much in it yeah, i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did remember to give it a huge thumbs up if you do want me to do like more what's in and what's on videos let me know i could do a what's on my iphone and guess like what's in my makeup bag all the videos like that but yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this and are enjoying all of my autumn videos if you haven't already i will leave them linked in a playlist down below so you guys can go and see them but yeah i love you all so much and i will see you on wednesday and sunday at 6 p.m for a brand new video Bye!